Hey, Emily. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Emily. Uh, how fun was last night for you? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, obviously we know what Kyle for him to come out and throw the ball like that uh, against a team like this. Um, it, it was a lot of fun. It was a fun night. For you at this point in your career, every all the young guys, I mean, not just catchers, talk about how what an important resource you are, how valuable you are to their development. How much joy do you get out of that, that aspect of your job? A lot. A lot. I mean, it means a lot for, uh, for guys to say stuff like that. It means a lot for me to be able to help somebody out and, um, you know, do what I can to, to better them as a, as a baseball player and as a catcher. And um, I, I, take a, I take a lot of pride in that. Where do you feel like you are in your career? What do you see future in the, the near future? I don't know. Um, I, I'm really happy with the way my body feels right now. Um, you know, my, my arm feels good. My, my legs are feeling good. Um, I know it's been a different year, not as many games. But, um, you know, I still love it. Still excited about going out there and putting this jersey on. And, and we'll see. We'll see what the offseason brings. Oops. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate you. Hey, TR. So, Jeff, along those lines, the Rangers are going to obviously have Trevino, and they obviously have Huff, and they obviously have a, a lot of young pitchers coming up, but they could use possibly a backup mentor catcher. Would that be a role that appeals to you? Would that, would be, would that be something you would like to broach with the Rangers this winter? Yeah, um, for sure. I mean, I understand where I'm at in my career. Um, uh, the, the mentor part, I know, is, you know, would be a part of it anywhere that, that I feel like I'd be going. Um, and something that I, that I like, like I told Emily, I just take a lot of pride in. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I like it here. Um, there's a lot of good people in this organization, and um, I've, I've uh, been excited and, and happy um, to be around them and be a part of this clubhouse and this group the last, last year and a half. And, um, you know, if, if I'm back next year, that would that, be awesome. But we'll see. Okay. Levi? Hey, Jeff. Uh, when we talked to Joey Gallo yesterday, he, he mentioned something about um, how, you know, obviously it's the role of the leaders to sort of teach the young guys how to be in the big leagues. And there's, there's a lot of mentoring going, you know, from the top down. But he also mentioned that he's learning a lot from those young guys as they come up about whether it be joy for the game or just relaxing and having fun. Is that universal or is that more of a Joey thing? Are you, do you find yourself learning things from these young guys as they're coming up from single uh, A and double A? Yeah. I mean, you could look at it from a couple of different angles. I mean, they're, they're coming up, you know, playing carefree, enjoying the game, happy to be here. Um, and, and as we all are, um, you know, I don't want that to, to go unnoticed. But there's you know, something about somebody coming up and the, the joy of being in the big leagues, um, you know, that, that – you know, just radiates with everybody. And I think that's probably some of what Joey's talking about. But there's some good young talent up here right now. Um, and, and they're young, and there's some a lot of things they have to learn. But at the same time, too, like, there's, there's some talent there. And, um, you know, they, a lot of them know how, to, know how to play the game already. So I'm, I'm excited. Have you seen that. that change, you know, from the time when you first came up, however long ago that was, to, to now? Are you seeing guys hit the big leagues more polished, more prepared than they used to be? Uh, uh, that's a good question. I mean, I, I feel like there weren't as many young guys called up like this that, that they're doing now. Uh, right. I could be completely wrong, but um, I kind of feel like there's a lot, a lot more younger bodies that are that are reaching the big leagues. Um, you know, th this day and age. Um, but uh, polished, I, I don't know. Um, you know, I think there's something to be for some time spending the, in the minor leagues and getting to understand the game and going through the ups and downs of, of the game of baseball. Um, but at the same time, too, coming up, um, getting your feet wet and, and uh, being in a big league clubhouse, going in, into a big league game and, and just learning, learning the ropes up here is, um, is beneficial for, for them, too. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Appreciate it. Evan. Evan. 
Hey, uh, Jeff, um, what do you hear from home over the last 24, 48 hours? Pretty wet. Really, really wet. I, um, you know, I have a lot of uh, friends and family up and down the coast. Um, obviously, going through Michael the way we did uh, a couple of years ago was was really scary, but um, it, it wasn't too bad. Just a lot of rain, um, a lot of flooding. Um, thank goodness everybody's is good and safe, um, and I appreciate you asking. And no, no damage. To, the house is in Seaside, right? Uh, just down the street a little bit over in okay. Watertown. In Watertown. And everything, you guys, you guys came out of it, no significant damage to speak of. No, no everything was good. Uh, we didn't even lose power, so I was very thankful for that. Um, wife and kids are there now. Um, okay. But everything, everything's good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, well, the one other question I had for you is, listen, if, if, if you play next year, great. And if you don't play next year, you've had a 15-year career in the big leagues. Um, your legacy is going to go down as a, as a great teammate and as, as a guy who really helped pitchers out. On the offensive side, how do you look at your legacy? Uh uh, that's a good question too. I mean, obviously disappointing, um, you know, disappointed with where I am right now, um, you know, still hovering around that 180 mark. Um, but at the same time too, I, I think, you know, the effort that I've put into to, to that offensive side throughout the years gives me a little bit of comfort. Um, you know, the numbers are going to be what they are, um, but it was never, um, never came from a situation where I wasn't trying to, to make that adjustment. I wasn't trying to, to do something different or, or uh, be a little more um, consistent with, with my swing. Cause that's, that's been something that I've been searching for since, you know, I, I entered the major leagues, but obviously, um, you know, would have loved to have done, you know, more this year, more throughout my career, but um, you know, just thankful that I've been able to give it a, give it a go for this long. So what does it say to you that to have had a 15, maybe longer year career based basically on the, on the element of what you add to the pitching staff and what you add to a clubhouse? In, in your mind, what does that say about your career? Well, it means a lot. Um, it means that, that uh, I was able to get along with a lot of people throughout, throughout the, the journey. Um, and that means a lot to me for somebody to, to tell me that I'm, that, I, that I'm a good teammate. It, it means the world to me. And, and like I said, I take a lot of pride in it. And to um, to be able to get on the same page as, as pitching staffs because that was something that, that Socia ingrained in, in us catchers over there in Anaheim from the beginning. And to kind of keep that um, in the forefront of my mind um, and it kind of pay off and, and keep me in the game is something that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm also proud of. Great. Thanks, man. I'm glad everything worked out at home. Thank you, sir. Hey, Sam. You know, I'm curious, would you be interested if, if you aren't playing next year, would you want to jump into coaching at all? Would that be something you want to do in the, in the near, near term? You know what, I'm interested uh, for sure. I mean, baseball is all I know. Um, you know, I've been doing it for a long time and I've and, uh, been blessed to, to do so. But, um, yeah, it's definitely something that I'm, that I'm interested in and uh, would, would like to pursue. Thank you.